that those who are providing for the success of this country are able to be guaranteed the protections they need to continue to work these jobs and provide so much value for the rest of us. After years, decades of diminishing the power of unions, it is time to strengthen them. I want to make sure that when you graduate from high school, you are college ready to come here, but you're also career ready to find a job that provides purpose and function and dignity and a real paycheck in your life. Those apprenticeships that more Americans can join if we make it a priority, those apprenticeships that more older Americans can return to after they've raised their families or after their job has been automated out of existence or after they want to try something else in a new community, those apprenticeships are a lifeline, not just for people, not just for families, but for entire parts of America to allow people to work where they live or to choose a new place to live if they want to. Those apprenticeships are a path towards function for those who return from the battlefield. 18 years and counting in Afghanistan, 27 years and counting in Iraq, coming back from being as essential as you can be as a human being, what you do in that military unit will determine the fate and the fortune and the future of the other members and of yourself. When you come back to this community as a veteran, I want to make sure that not only do you have the care that you need from the VA and you don't wait in a line to receive it, not only do you have a roof over your head and you're never begging for money on a street corner or a gas station, not only can you use your post 9-11 GI Bill to come to this institution or any institution of higher learning, but you're connected with a trade or profession that gives your life purpose again once you are back in your community. Let's make sure that every working American can work and lead a life of dignity. And every American in every rural community that produces the food and the fiber that we depend on, that the world depends on, which is helping us to meet our climate challenge goals by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, that we allow them to make a profit on their farms. I don't think that is asking too much. The alternative is those farms are sold, they're aggregated into conglomerates of corporations, or they're subdivided into homes and blacktop. If we want to be able to pass them on to the next generation, let's free our farmers from the whims of a commodity market, allow them to add value to what they grow, do their part to combat climate change, incentivize them through the farm bill to plant cover crops, to use precision tilling and farming to capture more carbon out of the air and sequester it under the soil. Let's make sure that we partner with rural America, revive rural America by listening to rural America. Show up everywhere for everyone because everyone counts and everyone matters. And if we do that, we will be able to meet each and every single one of these challenges. To Diego's question earlier today in Storm Lake, 